hip hop game has some negative energy in it, but it has a lot of positives to it too. You know what I'm saying? Um, the beef thing, people look at that as a negative. I mean, it's entertainment at the same time, but you, you never know how far uh, those beefs really can go. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes they go further than the artists, people's crews, people's uh, neighborhoods. You know what I'm saying? In certain situations, you've seen whole coast against another whole coast. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes people don't really, and, and the media too, I don't think really, like, you know, they always want to, of course, you want to have that story. You want to have that interview where you got the dude to talk crazy on your show. But the media is really who puts a fire to a lot of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times that's where it starts at. From somebody just saying something in a magazine or somebody saying something on DVD or somebody saying something on the Internet. You know what I'm saying? This is where it, this is where it comes from. It don't come from just them and him talking because it probably would start and end right there. You know what I'm saying? It starts from somebody using the media as an outlet to, uh, you know what I'm saying, to make something happen. And the media plays into it, you know what I mean? But then when somebody die, then everybody's like, oh man, this shit is not bad for hip hop, man. It, you know, man, how you learn Tupac and Biggie? Yeah, but y'all feeding into it, you know what I'm saying? You can't throw salt in the wound and be crying about it after, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's a thing, but it's, I mean, some points it is good for hip hop, you know what I mean? It keeps, it keeps the, uh, integrity of hip-hop up, it keeps the entertainment level of hip-hop up, it, pu it pulls listeners in, sometimes it, push it, it pushes some of the people away, because certain people just want to hear good music, they ain't really with all that shit, the, the, the WWF shit, and the screaming on somebody on the, uh, on, on the radio, or, you know what I'm saying, certain people are not really with, with all of that, they just want to hear good music, they want to party, they, they, they love the passion of hip-hop, you know what I'm saying? But some parts of it is good, so it's, it's with me really. It's like a back and forth thing. Sometimes I see where where it helps, and then sometimes I see where it hurts. It, you know what I mean? I can't really touch in deep with the Justin situation because it's a, a pending court matter right now. But um, I mean, really, with me, it was a uh, it was a thing where I was kind of in the wrong place at the wrong time. I think like the media and really the cops took the situation and tried to make it a bigger situation by combining stories and and taking the thing with Sebastian Telfair and, and putting it with this fabulous thing and, and running it concurrent and just making one big story for the headlines and the hip hop and you know what I'm saying? Just a, just another tag at hip hop to make it look like everything gets caused off of hip hop, you know what I'm saying? All kinds of shootings and robberies and every time something happened they stick a rapper or some kind of uh, reason that hip hop was involved, and this is why it happened, so to say. You know what I'm saying? I looked at it. I was just like, like if they would have just even told the story, it was good. But to say to mix certain things that have completely like and things happen in two different places at two different times. They made people who you may be out here and and in, in, in Chicago and, and y'all don't know exactly what happened. So if if they if y'all get the word here. It's gonna look like that's the that's what happened. You know what I'm saying? This is the news. They telling you this on the news. This is what happened. So like they make this story up and make it a big a big thing, a big issue. Fabulous tries to attempt robbery of Sebastian Chain and ends up getting shot by some assent. Like it was just a big mix, and it was n nowhere near that. You know what I'm saying? Even in my case, that whole issue is not even a part of it. You know what I'm saying? But it was just something that they used for the story end of it. I don't need anybody's chains. So like it, it, it wouldn't. Why would y'all attach me to that? Like just to make it a, a, another a, another part of the story for people to be like, oh, they said, you know what I mean? It's like how you hear hood rumors. No, nah, my man said, Fab snatched Sebastian chain. Sebastian punched him in the face. Then you know what I'm saying? Like it's just a, a big little hood rumor, but the cops is putting it out. You know what I mean? So I I really didn't like that. You know what I mean? But it was a situation really with me where it was some uh, altercation happened in a uh, parking lot. Some shots got fired, you know what I mean? I got hit in the leg, but I'm all right, you know what I mean? I brushed the dirt off. Um, a week later, I was back up and running, you know what I'm saying? And, and I still had the court case, I'm just handling that. I'm lawyers on that, and that's it, you know what I mean? I'm back here making music. I'm not trying to use the situation to, to, to uh, elevate me as some super thug dude. I'm not here with a bulletproof vest on and a bandana on my head, you know what I'm saying, throwing up gang signs, it's, you know what I'm saying, it's something that happens, unfortunately, you know what I mean, a lot of people's life, a lot of people can relate to it, you know what I'm saying, I, even in the music, I didn't even really go at it hard, you know what I'm saying, because that's not what I'm trying to sell, like I'm not trying to sell, and certain people have misunderstood when Def Jam 
had um put out that I was gonna come out in December. I guess they feeling like, oh, maybe he got shot. That was a, a publicity thing. But we had already thought about putting out the record in December. You know what I'm saying? In October, we was talking about, in September, we was talking about putting the record out in December and catching the Christmas. You know what I'm saying? That little time. That might've been on their press leak of what they were gonna do. Then that, that, but musically, I wasn't ready to come out then anyway. So it wasn't gonna happen. But, you know what I'm saying? That whole thing happened. And then I think uh, somebody let the, press leak out and say, yo, Fab was coming out in December. So that created a little stir, like, oh, he used that and he's coming out. Like, it was all just, you know what I mean? Fabrications are really what happened, you know what I mean?